Dr. Barbara von Mettenheim here, and we've been talking about what I did in order to recover from alcoholism. And I hope that you can find some of these helpful if you need to stop drinking or you are dealing with your own alcoholism and find it difficult to go to a 12-step group, which I highly recommend. But if you can't, I hope this is helpful. So this last module in this series that I've been doing is going to talk about two things that are vital to getting sober. In the, in the literature, in the 12-step literature somewhere, it says there's two things you need to do in order to get sober. One is to enlarge your spiritual life, and the second is to carry the message to someone else. And those two activities are the things that keep us go sober going forward. Once you have cleaned up the wreckage of the past and you have your character defects more or less taken away by asking whatever your higher power is to remove them and becoming willing to let them go. Now we want to do something going forward and that is to enlarge your spiritual life and to carry the message for me to other alcoholics. And doing this is, is part of that and I hope you find it helpful. So let's talk about enlarging your spiritual life. I've, you've heard me say I have no idea what God is. I just know that it's not me and that there is one. And that it's most important for you to find for yourself what is that source that feeds you spiritually. Where do you get the sustenance from that? Some people go to church Church never quite worked for me. I cussed way too much to be around church people. Especially, I still cuss bad. But in the early days especially, and I mean, everything was such a wreck. Church people would just, you know, I was like, you know, the bum that joined the really fancy church. I never felt comfortable there. I'm not trying to dissuade you from that. It just didn't work for me. So... And I wasn't quite sure I believed in the church God. But you can find something that works for you. Try a bunch of different things. The thing that really works for me is talking about this consciousness, this pure consciousness that is kind and loving and, and, and wonderful and gives us stuff. My definition of, of um, God, it's, it's all powerful and it likes me. That was a definition of something that got me through, that I knew could, that something was out there that was taking care of me, and it liked me. Love was kind of a different issue. So it doesn't really matter what it is. It just has to suit you. But you really have to understand that there is something bigger than us out there. And then once you are able to define that for yourself and it's working and then you go out and you and you help other people in whatever way you can and you know not looking down on people who have difficulties in life and I don't think you will find any group of people more compassionate than you find in the 12 step rooms but once again if you can't go there not you know that doesn't mean that you can't do the things that you need to do in order to put a life together, a life that sustains you and, and that you don't have to hide from or, or try to kill yourself over. You really are valuable. All of us are valuable. All of us have a point of view that people need to hear. So the world needs you. The world needs you and your life force and the things that you have learned and there are people that you can help and by helping others you help yourself in the 12 step rooms you know they say if you're having a hard time go find somebody who has a harder time than you and help them because that's what's going to make you feel really good it's going to get you out of yourself and to begin to live a bigger life with people wanting to, uh, needing you, people needing you. So don't deprive the world of you. We need you. So with that, have a great day. Hope this helps. Take care. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.